Hey guys, this is Jordan, and I just wanted to come out with a video on farming for contribution points. Uh, this is going to be a video to help people that maybe want to push their CP up. Um, this is a really fast way to do it, and it is going to be through farming. And what you're going to want to do, basically, is you're going to want to kill the pests or prune uh, in order to get these blush leaves. Now when you get 20 of them you can exchange them for contribution XP and farming XP. So the idea of it is to basically grow, uh, you can pretty much grow anything. Um, however if we come over here and we look at this information right here, so this is just me using the example of dry mane grass, but this little bar right here, um, when it's in here, um, you have a better chance not to get pruning or killing pests. So if you, because it's set right here, basically for the temperature, what it's saying is that it has an increased chance to go bad or to get pruning or kill pests. Same thing with humidity. So because it's not in here, as you can tell, see, it, see where it says 10%? And this is 1%. So if this was a really good place to grow dry mane grass, then it would be something like this. Also, if the temperature was uh, in here, it would grow, it would grow better. So that's the idea basically is that you want um, you want this bar not to be inside of here. You want it to be on the outside, not the little colored section. And that just means you have like an increased chance for your plant to go bad. Now also with farms, you have options to put workers on your farms, but because we're farming contribution points, we want our plants to go bad. So, um, that is basically the gist of it. And what I like to do is when I get done planting these, actually I already, already did these for an example, so I'll just go ahead and harvest these real quick and show you guys what I mean. So we'll go ahead and plant these seeds right here while I am pruning and killing the pests of the other ones. And you're gonna notice every time we prune, we get blush leaves or kill pests. Blush leaf, blush leaf, blush leaf. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this and go to the very end of my farm. So. And here we go, we're almost done. This is our last farm. And if we go ahead and look, we got about 157 of these blush leaves. Now, I'm gonna compare them to my cooking and alchemy because I have a couple of them. So, if we look, so cooking only requires 10 of them to get the 900 contribution. Same thing with the alchemy. Um, however, as you could tell, just doing my farm once uh, gave me 157 of these, which would be equivalent to about 300 cook, or no, 70, no, yeah, 70 uh, cook plates. This, this basically equals 70 cook plates. Um, so this could be an alternative for uh, pushing CP um, because you can do it every time you come to your farm. So what I like to do is I will essentially kill all the pests, harvest all of this, or you can just delete all the seeds. That's also an option. You can just go ahead and uh, collect and just delete them. Um, Personally, I wouldn't do that. I would just harvest them because you can you can resell them to the market. Uh, 
And then what I will do is I will plant them all. I'll go do like a different activity, like go grind, go hunt, go gather, go cook, go do alchemy, go process, go do something else. And then what I will do is I will just swap over uh, to this character that farms and then I will touch up my farms. So I will kill the pests and you'll keep continuing to get blush leaves. So let me uh, finish harvesting all this and then I will replant them and I'll show you an example. All right, we're done. So now I'm going to go do a different activity and then I'm going to come back to my farms. We're just gonna go real quick, do Imperial Imperials real quick and then I am going to come back to my farms. Ah, Imperials. Easy money. All right, now we're gonna go check our farms after doing our Imperials. So the idea of this is, is that you will do another activity and then basically come back to your farms as your crops are growing. Um, they should grow bad. So as you know, after doing Imperials, we're already starting to get um, some crops that are going bad. And what you could do is you could just leave this character here. Um, you don't have to like take them to the storage. However, moving your accessories, etc., you may have to do that. Um, but what I like to do is I'll like go grind or, um, yeah, basically with grinding. I will go grind on a different character and then I'll just swap over to this guy that has my life skills on or life skill gear on him and then I will essentially tend to the farm and you get all these leaves like so and just by making this video we're already up to 177 Now, the biggest problem is going to be your energy, and what, what I like to do is just use energy pots to tag back some energy. can also run Villa, which I should have on. I don't know why I don't have Villa on. So that can help as well. Maybe you have a Jinzing that can help a little bit as well. But this is just another way that you could push uh, contribution points. And then, like I said, you can just go swap over. I'll go over to my grinder, start grinding, and then, um, then I can just swap back after, you know, maybe an hour or 30 minutes or however often you wanna check back on your farms. You could do like every 10 minutes and then um, pick up the CP. Uh, you also have other options which you could do. You could do byproduct, you could do pepper, you could do stone tail fodder. Um, it's whatever you want to do, but this is just another way that you can push CP uh, fairly quickly. Uh, it's more active than cooking or alchemy, um, and it is energy dependent, but it's, I like it. So, yeah. I just wanted to make this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.